Welcome to Angel Health Academy. Topic for the day is differentiate between epidemiology and clinical medicines. What are the difference between epidemiology and clinical medicines? Recently, I have been seen a question paper of Kerala University of Health Science. In that, I have been noticed that there is a question. There was a question comes under differentiate between epidemiology and clinical medicine. What are the difference or differentiate between epidemiology and clinical medicine? So, it is a short video. And you can apply this knowledge into the question. So it is an exam based question paper solved an exam oriented video that is differentiated between epidemiology and clinical medicine. So we have studied both epidemiology and clinical medicines. I have been already uploaded a video regarding epidemiology. If you have not seen, I will give to the card and you can go through and you can uh, get uh, the complete information regarding uh, concept and uh, basis of epidemiology. The first feature of the difference between epidemiology and clinical medicine is unit of study. In epidemiology, unit of study is a population that is defined population or the population at risk. So, in epidemiology, the unit of study is defined population. A group of people who are living in a particular geographical area in that particular community or in that particular ward or in the particular area or in the family we concerned as a defined population or population at risk. But in case of clinical medicines, that is, or whereas in clinical medicine, that is, a case or cases with the clear-cut signs and symptoms are the unit of study. So, in epidemiology, unit of study is defined population, but in clinical medicine, it is an individual focused study that is most probably a case or cases with the particular or clear cut signs and symptoms or confirmed cases. The second difference is concerned with. Epidemiology is concerned with both sick as well as healthy people. So, we said it is a defined population or population at risk. Here it comes population means both sick as well as healthy, as well as healthy. Whereas, the clinical medicine is concerned with the only sick people or cases with the disease pattern or clear cut signs and symptoms. So, epidemiology is concerned with the both sick as well as healthy people or healthy population. But, or whereas in clinical medicines that concerned with only sick people, care to the sick people or treatment to the sick people or cases with the disease pattern. The third uh, difference is objectives. Objectives of epidemiology, the main objectives of epidemiology are to identify a particular source of infection, to identify a particular or specific source of infection from where it is originated. Okay. So the objectives of epidemiology are to identify a particular source of infection or a communicable disease or infectious disease and its mode of transmission and various etiological factor or related or precipitating factors in relation to the particular problem and its significance or future trend of that particular problem, how significant, how fatal it is, how could uh, control, whether it is possible to control, etc. And also recommend various measures, control measures and preventive measures to control and prevent that particular problem. Whereas in clinical medicine, the main objectives are to diagnose a particular problem or case and to derive the prognosis of that particular problem, get a prognosis and prescribe a specific treatment for that disease within the limited period of time or within a short period. That means the objectives of clinical medicines are limited to diagnose, prognose and prescribe a specific treatment for the disease. Fourth one is examination in epidemiology and the clinical medicines. Fourth difference is examination. So examination of a particular problem in the epidemiology that could be done by the conducting a survey. So survey of particular community then the process is called as community diagnosis. We diagnose the whole community. So mass diagnosis or screening or case finding through community diagnosis. That means here epidemiologist uses quantitative tool for community diagnosis. So in epidemiology, epidemiologist uses quantitative tool for community diagnosis. Whereas in clinical medicines, that is only single diagnosis, that is patient based, that is patient's diagnosis. So here physician uses certain 
lab tools for diagnosis that is not a community diagnosis it is an individual diagnosis thus examination in epidemiology that is conducted by done by conducting a survey of that particular or definite area and making community diagnosis or mass diagnosis the where epidemiologist uses the quantitative tool for community diagnosis whereas in clinical medicine it is the individual patient diagnosis that is done in the lab or uh, laboratory uh, setup where physician uses lab tools for diagnosis the fifth difference is relationship between the people and the epidemiologist or the physician and the patient. So in epidemiology, the epidemiological team, epidemiological team goes to the community to the doorsteps of the people that is go to the community to find and solve the various health problems of that particular community. So the relationship with the people in epidemiology are epidemiological team goes to the community and find and solve various health needs and health problems of that particular community people. Whereas in clinical medicine, the patient comes to the doctor or physician for the particular treatment for which he is suffering. So in clinical medicine, patient comes to the doctor or physicians, but in epidemiology, the epidemiological team goes to the uh, community or at the doorsteps of the particular group of people. Then sixth feature is or sixth difference is area of concern in epidemiology. Area of concern means the pattern of treatment. So epidemiology concern with the both preventive and promotive care. Preventive care and promotive care. Whereas in clinical medicines it focus only one pattern of care that is curative in nature. That is curative care. So the treatment is given to the particular problem that uh, in which the patient uh, or for which that patient uh, suffers or come for the treatment that is called uh, curative in nature that is curative care. So area of concern in epidemiology is preventive and promotive care but in uh, clinical medicine it is curative care. The seventh point is or feature is concept. The concept of epidemiology is purely it is biostatistical based on the survey and report. So biostatistical. But in clinical medicine it is biomedical that is free from disease. So make the patient free from that particular disease that is biomedical concept. Then next point is next difference is the result of epidemiology. So usually the result of epidemiology is symbolized in the form of various tables and graphs etc. So tables, graphs. So results are symbolized in the form of tables and graphs whereas in clinical medicine the result symbolizes as medical report or lab report. So result of the client will be mentioned in the medical report or the discharge summary or in the lab report. But here it's a community diagnosis and community treatment. So the result of epidemiology is symbolized in the form of tables and graphs for an easy understanding. The ninth difference is related to time, related to time of treatment or period of treatment. So in epidemiology, it is a sustainable uh, time will be used or it is a long process because we are making community diagnosis and community treatment because in epidemiology, it consists of the whole population, all community. Okay, so it is sustainable and uh, the period of treatment will last for a sustainable period or long process and the treatment process is a long process whereas in clinical medicine it is a quick and short result it is a quick and short period is needed for to treat the particular client or particular case so the time taken for the uh, the process of treatment is in epidemiology it is sustainable and uh, it is a long process but in clinical medicine it is a quick and uh, short period or short result then last point is last difference between epidemiology and uh, clinical medicine is regarding assumption so usually epidemiologist makes or forms various assumptions and hypotheses based on certain factors that influence a particular disease but whereas in clinical medicine there is no assumption only we will find out the diagnose the patient and we give a remedy as a specific treatment to cure that particular problem so there is no assumption in clinical medicines so so far we have discussed about the difference between epidemiology and clinical medicines so hope this video really benefits in your studies and exams if you feel it is really worth please like share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned with angel health academy for the next and important academic video thank you